folder. Okay, uh, I am almost ready to modify the about function. All right, uh, I'm going to add a repository pattern. I'm going to add a unit of work pattern, and I'm going to replace uh, this thing with uh, with those two patterns. The question is, how do I start? Where do I start? I think it's better that we start from the bottom. Uh, what I mean is like mm. uh, the things which are more closer to database from okay. that layer to up, towards upside. Hmm. Good. All right. Uh, are we? Uh, my thought is sure. Uh, my thought is maybe we will start wherever it is required. For example, in the about, we will create the object of the repository first, and then we will go on uh, go and create the definition. What if I end up breaking the about functionality? How do I ensure that I did not break about at all? So I have uh, I have started the application again. Let's see what about is doing. But then I still want you guys to think that how do I ensure that I did not cause any regression? Have you heard this word before? Regression? Of course. Uh, so you're going to do some mocking kind of concept here spot on spot on all right Good. we are performing a very dangerous stunt what do we need a safety net yeah. a safety net at the bottom right <laughs> so that while we are doing that activity up up in the air all right if we fall uh, we don't want to we don't want to fall on face break anything uh, i am looking i'm busy looking at the error message the operation cannot be completed because the db context has been disposed all right i don't know why this happened but then i am assuming that it is because of deleting the dispose function. I'm just going to undo that. All right. Yeah, all your code paths were not returning uh, objects. I think so. so. That's why. Yeah, I would guess so. Exactly. And probably we saw a regression. So the about page was working without my code. Right. But then because of my code, it stopped working. So the first thing that we should really be doing is, is probably add a test case to our solution. All right. So I'm just going to come here. Right click, new project, and I'm going to say search for test. And I don't want .NET Core, I specifically want framework. I specifically want C sharp. Unit testing project. I'm going to hit next. Now, because it is Contoso University, I'm going to call it Contoso University dot tests. Right. All right, and because I'm testing the home controller, I'm going to say home controller tests. All right, uh, let's see if our application is still working. Uh, I hope that it, it, it would display. It displays like five results. I've seen that before. All right, the about action, show me five results, please. All right, awesome, thank you. <laughs> so I see that it has five rows and it is displaying how many students enrolled to that university on that particular date. Pretty interesting. All right, what we are gonna do next is we're gonna stop debugging and inside this, we are gonna name our uh, function as um, home controller about action returns five rows all right uh, now this is one of those places where i am used to putting comments so we'll have to arrange things we'll have to act and we'll have to assert for arranging for the part of arrangement is that we need uh, to figure out the controller that we are testing all right and i'm going to say home controller controller I'm going to hit escape and notice the bulb here using this i'm going to add reference to the contours university project all right with that reference added it now knows how to create the home controller excuse me now that the controller is created i think i can uh, just act var result assigned to 
controller dot ah I'm sorry just call it home all right I'm just gonna say home dot about and there I have it I have the result what I really need is I had done some cheating about this because I keep forgetting the syntax I need these two things my home controller has an about action inside it all right if I hit F12 on this definition it is saying that it returns system.web.mvc.action result that action result is specifically <coughs> what is it complaining about all right it is saying that the mvc package has not been referenced inside the application i'm just going to hit control dot and install the package you have to install these packages in your test solution as well by the time it is installing that i am not sure if we can analyze about <clears throat> all right if you look at the about definition it is returning action result but Notice that the return statement itself is view and view is returning view result. Okay, so if we want to work with the result from the view function, we'll have to typecast our uh, response object as view result. So I'm going to add a reference for that. So I have the view result inside action result. Um, I should probably call it view result. I don't know why I called it action result. All right, so with this view result, I'm going to get a property called view data and through this view data I'm going to get the model. Now if you notice again this thing is coming off from this view here. We are trying to match this syntax that I need an I enumerable of the enrollment date group. We need to add a few references, generics and probably this one is through the model class. Hmm, I don't know why it is not resolving this one but it is definitely present inside the view model folder. The student enrollment. Okay, uh, I think I changed the name sometime back. I need the enrollment date group and it is the same thing as in the view. So I'm gonna copy this from view, come back to my test and put it over here. So the actual is going to come inside this variable and now I know that through assert is it complaining about this so add reference to contours university didn't we just add it some time back when you were doing this so the actual is going to have uh, that particular result now as a part of arrangement we're going to say that the expected count of the application or probably the uh, um, the about action is is five so i'm going to say that the expected output is expected count and I'm going to say actual dot I'm going to use the count extension method of link queue. So if I put add reference to system dot link queue, I think this is all set. Now this function, anytime we make changes to our application, this function will, this test case will confirm that we have not broken anything so far. <clears throat> all right, so I'm just going to go to the test explorer. I think it's part of the other windows the test results not the test result I want the test explorer all right I want test explorer it is right here let's just tuck it to the left all right and it very nicely identified that we have a test case at home controller about action returns five rows so let's go ahead and run the test case and you will notice that this test case fails All right, so I already knew that the expected was five, but the actual was zero. Now, how did that happen? I'm creating a home controller. The home controller, I don't know why it is not jumping to the definition. Uh, I was hoping that it is going to, I was hoping that it's going to launch the home controller over here. The home controller object is created. It has a DB context object, and then it is executing the about action. It comes all the way up to here. So if I hit F9 and say, debug the test case 
it is going to correctly stop here but when I debug it does not come back with any data the result view is going to see that evaluation requires test to run okay I'm just going to ignore all right the view result is not going to have anything in the collection okay anyway question to you guys why is that happening why is it saying that expected is 5 and actual is 0 but when we run the application it currently gets that data query is not executed it is getting executed under the query is executed actually i mean we were just inside the about function right we saw this happening i'll give away the answer because we are short on time one of the most essential thing of application development is figuring out the entry point when we are debugging the application um, through this IS Express button, the entry point of the application is Contoso University. Does that click something? Because of that, web.config is taking effect and web.config has a connection string for SQL Server. All right. Now, if I, um, if I show you something, I have had some luck in the past where I saw new databases getting created here. That did not happen this time. All right, ignore that. But the connection string is only present inside Contoso University. That connection string needs to be present inside the test case app.config file as well. I think I have put the connection string at the right spot and because I am connecting to the same database as the um, website, we would have a good luck this time at getting a good result. Did you guys notice something? That after adding a connection string inside app.config, our test cases started to pass, but we are not doing unit testing. Tell me why. Unit testing. Yeah, go ahead. I, I heard somebody. Uh, we should not be hitting the actual database. We should be using mock dependencies. Spot on. Spot on, all right? Unit testing is about limiting your scope to a specific boundary, right? But we have just crossed the boundary. We have come out of that test case um, environment, uh, the silo, and then we have crossed the line and we have actually gone to the dependency and we are reading from there now, right? And that is not unit testing. It is working, uh, but it is, not, uh, it is not unit testing, all right? So I wanted to uh, give you a briefing about that. <clears throat> All right, but uh, let's let's ignore that fact for a moment yeah. and continue with our application. 